Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So I'll be doing a quick voiceover for the first part of the video because I wasn't speaking. But this is going to be a hair tutorial. I felt like I need some new hair, a nice new colour for autumn winter. This wig is from RPG Show. So I'm going to be showing you how I plop and style this wig. I've been missing colour so I thought this is definitely going to be perfect for this video. So I'm just going ahead and plucking the lace. The lace does come kind of pre-plucked, but if you want it to be a bit more customised, I will definitely go over it. I'm not the best at customising frontals, just to let you guys know, but it does get me by. It does do the work, especially for these wigs. So that's what I'm doing. The lace is also pretty thin. They're pretty much like HD lace, so it does lay very flat. You can tint it to whatever shade or whatever colour you you need for your head and yeah you're good to go basically I'm also going to be curling the hair towards the end of the video as well the parting space on these wigs are pretty wide I feel like they look like they look like 13 by 6 frontals and um, yeah it's just it gives you a lot of space to use but I think I'm going to do a side part I feel like with side parts it really helps to have more of a bigger parting space. Now moving on to curling the hair, I have started curling my wigs on a mannequin head. I feel like it is so much easier, it's so much more precise, you can get the curls looking really well and usually when you curl your hair on your head you can't see the back, you don't know how the back is curled, it's usually not as neat and not as nice so I've literally been doing this now like for the longest, I just feel like it's just so much easier and it saves me time in the morning, I just do it the night before and just pop it on my head and I'm good to go. So I'm using this Babyliss curling wand, it's kind of like tapered, I'm not quite sure of the exact name but I will put it in the description box and I'm just going for my regular curls, they're a lot tighter than usual yet yeah, so these curling wands actually give more of a tighter curl which I wanted because the hair isn't as long as I usually would have it, their wigs only come down to 20 inches so I felt like the style I wanted was kind of like a lot more wavy, a lot more precise curls and also if your wigs aren't that full this particular curl this particular style would add volume when you brush them out so the tighter curls would give more of a voluminous look to your wigs by the way I will be doing another tutorial with a different technique I haven't actually tried the crimping technique on my hair I've been wearing that lately absolutely love it just in case you were thinking okay girl we need some new hairstyles don't worry it's definitely coming So I've got my makeup on. I decided to add rollers because I didn't want to have another fail. I was going to do like pink curls again, but you know how pink curls work for me, they never do. So I thought, let me try the old school version. First, I'm going to cut the lace. I haven't actually tinted the lace, so I might just use makeup because, you know. So like I said before, the lace is pretty much HD lace, it's very like very flat, it disappears to the skin. So when I obviously tint the lace, it would literally blend into my skin. Second thoughts, I'm gonna use this, my bald hole, because like I said, I usually do my makeup. Oh. Oh, 
this is literally the stuff that happens to me all the time like so yeah um went ahead and had to wash the hair blow dry it and restyle it I'm actually going to lay the frontal again just so that you can see the melt a lot better so what I'd use is it got to be the black one so I usually use two things I usually use either the got to be spray and the gel or the ghost bond and the gel so this kind of lays it down and just gives you more of a nice melt Like I said, the frontals are literally like HD lace, so it does lay really, really flat. So yeah, as you can see, the wigs, their wigs hold a curl really well. I did use a curly one that does actually give you like really like tight curls. I use this Remington curling wand. Um, it's pretty much the same as my other one, the Babyliss one, but this one seems to give you seems to give seems to give me tighter curls, especially here at the top. You definitely get a lot of part in space, which is really good. So yeah, I just about saved the wig. <laughs> it was literally like, I was like, oh my gosh, this is not happening today. I'm trying to imagine this hair a lot longer. I remember doing this last year, like I said, and it would look so nice with like big wavy curls. But no, I really like this as well. If you're not really, in, if you're not really like fond of like extra long hair, then this is probably like, this is a good length. So like I said, 20 inches long. But all their wigs are literally 20 inches. Sometimes you want to go a little bit longer. I'm hoping that they do try and like change this in the future and offer like a lot longer lengths. You know, 24s, 26s, who knows? But um, this is a good length to start with if you're literally just trying out <laughs> wigs for the first time or if you're not someone who likes really long hair. But um, I feel like I want to do this hair like longer i might just do another wig and just have a longer length so i'll put all the information in the description box as usual let me know if you want me to do any more like hair tutorials like hairstyle because a couple of styles i feel like i haven't done on my channel yet so they might be coming in the next hair tutorial videos but just let me know and i'll do it for you if you definitely like this hair color make sure you check them out so that's pretty much it for the video i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys